But yeah, it's it's just odd. Like, there's always going to be there's as soon as you do something bad like that, no matter what platform it is, you're going to get scrutinised. You're going to get problems no matter where you are. So, mm. Yeah, and then it affects other people as well. Yeah. Well, that's what I meant before as well. When you brought up Dark and how certain people are affected who like get an income and earn their money and everything through YouTube and the other, um, because demonetized it, it essentially it, it essentially it's like okay so you're losing money but smaller creators who don't even slightly have the luxury of getting money through their youtube or whatever they're being affected even more than you because there's even less of a chance that they'll actually do well on the platform um, I wouldn't say the, like with these this... smaller streamers are uh, not doing as good as them. If anything, a lot of the smaller streamers aren't affected by what's going on. Yeah, but even the way YouTube have changed things, like how how many subscribers and how many viewers you need to have before um, you can like monetize your channel or things like that, uh, the the rate at which people are just kind of uh, doing particular things who are just like we want to try and make youtube videos and make youtube content that we want to make but it just seems to be becoming increasingly against people who just want to try and make yeah. the best content yeah. they can make yeah but mm, and and... recently a youtuber that did do that has passed away from an accident and Jesus. a lot of content creators have SOS have um gone on how the how down to earth this person was and everything. Ironically that YouTuber had nothing to do with gaming but inspired me to start streaming as well. Hmm. Yeah. That's usually just because hits. of how their attitude was. Yeah. And, yeah. And that's the thing, like a lot of people, even lo small ones can do things like that but the, th the problem the thing is, is yeah, i bet a lot of those people are banking on those videos though Got ironically that this thing is it's also a fundraiser so it's going straight to the people affected most yeah yeah hmm. while that may be the case it's oh hey we've just lost one of the good people hmm. it's like they've all of them said, we've literally lost one of the good ones. Yeah. And for the most part, they aren't wrong. Hmm. But that's the thing, like, it's it, everywhere and anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. And I honestly wanted to turn around and say in one of my streams, I hope the family isn't uh, doesn't suffer anything hard because that channel, what that person has done, it has helped so many without knowing it's honestly, if they stopped a lot of people would actually suffer mm. I have no idea what you're talking about honestly it's like um, as I was uh, said to Elvish last night, there have been days where I've been felt like utter shit, hmm. and just tuning into Elvish's stream picked me up. Yeah, yeah. Certain people just have that ability. People can help one another, whether it's just being there, talking, chatting, whatever the case may be. But that's the thing. Everybody has their own different. Crocs, their own different nicks, mats, and noys that are there for people and all that. Like, I, I'm the reason, like, I watch Mark because Mark and Jackson have both pulled me out of some dark places. Oh, well, Nick, though, they have. They've, they've always been there because they've been able to make me laugh, make me cry, whatever the reason might be. But, hmm, agreed. It's that, yeah. What, what they're, they're sort of like, oh, yeah it doesn't affect us that much well it doesn't they earn the bigger bucks but then there's people that have got like 30 40 50 
thousand people and it's like why are you complaining that the system is broken you're complaining that oh you're not getting the certain things and it's like yeah but think about it in the long run who are you trying do you really want to say oh youtube's not doing anything for you when really you're doing a service for people not the other way around like hmm. as i've told people in in here and i tell people this every time in my streams you don't have to donate anything to the stream you don't even have to be a sub to my channel if you guys want to do that by all means go for it i never ask for money i really would never want to ask for money i don't like the idea of asking for money i do this Agreed. because i enjoy what i play i enjoy chatting with you guys i enjoy being a goof but mm. when you hear people like that on youtube that are like oh we get paid for it. it's like that's great i'm a small youtuber who's only doing toy reviews and it doesn't affect me that much and they're like oh but we don't get this because you know i'm like again i don't have a thousand subs how would i know mm. what this problem is why do you guys make it that you want us to leave the platform like there's a big thing right now where I don't know whether this is news to anyone or not. Supposedly Ninja... I don't know why I'm bringing it up, but it's an interesting point to bring up. Ninja sold out, right? He went over mm. to Mixer. Now, the, re the story behind that is Mixer gave him this amount of money to move to Mixer. Now, if you think about it, if someone turns around and goes, oh, I'm going to give you a million dollars to come and stream on my service would you guys drop everything and go over there and do it if they went here you go here's a if million if you get away from twitch yes no 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 just someone walks up to you they go i have a platform i want you to be here here's a million dollars would you do it no questions asked yes million fucking dollars yes okay elvish i no, there's no, there's no, there's no catches, no nothing. A new, a new service provider comes up, says, "Here's a million dollars. I want you on my service. Would you take that or not?" That is the question. Yes or no? Honestly, at this point, because there's a good reason why I'm saying this, and there's going to be no hard feelings or anything. I, I just want to get your general thing. If someone came up, offered you a million dollars, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, that, yeah. Okay, first first and foremost, I, at this point, <laughs> if it was a million dollars and it meant that I could help out my mum because she has been going through a lot of stuff recently, I still live with my mum, yep. she had her toe amputated a few months ago, Ooh. she's been going through... Uh, last year she was suffering from borderline malnutrition because she's uh, dealt with anorexia her whole, her whole life so if I could have a million dollars, no strings attached, just to switch to another platform you would do of it. doing something that I enjoy. already en enjoy doing which is streaming and playing so, games so yes, basically, is just what I I, I I just need the answer, I don't need the explanation because there's a reason why I'm going to say this yeah, so, the yeah. only reason I gave the explanation is because I don't believe in straight yes or no answer. I believe there has to be more context provided. No, well, I will, but I want to know, if someone offered you a million dollars, would you take it? That's all the question was really was. If someone offered you a yes. million dollars, okay, cool. Shadows, same thing. Would you take a million dollars if someone offered it to you? No. Even if there's no strings attached, even though there's no strings attached, and they want you to move from where you are now to mix up. That's my, that is I what I'm asking. Say no okay so out of everyone here you would be in the wrong you want to know why and this is the why? only reason so basically what ninja has done everyone says oh he's a seller he's a seller if you think about what ninja has done and where he was he's just set himself up for life yeah if you think about it and you've and this i'm, I'm saying this to even everyone in chat if someone came to you said, here's a million dollars, we want you to move to Mixer and stream, would you give up what you have on Twitch, YouTube, to go to Mixer? The reason why I say this, and Mark actually said it as well, Markiplier has said this, he set himself up for life. He doesn't have to worry about a retirement plan. He can retire right now. He's got a million dollars. 
He doesn't mm. have to worry about subs. He doesn't have to worry about bits. He doesn't have to worry about anything. For the next four years, he has set himself up. He doesn't have to do anything. He just has to sit there and play games. Mm. Like that that's the thing. In life we all have a we all have jobs or we attempt to have a new job. But the thing is though, at a certain point you're gonna get to an age where you you're gonna have to retire. Now whether mm. it's a good amount or a bad amount, it's you're you're always gonna struggle with a certain amount. Ninja turn, Ninja had been given an offer that could literally have ch- changed his life and he took it. I'm mm-hmm. sorry, if anyone says no to that, I would I would like... Again, that is your choice. You're allowed to say no. But if someone came up to me and says, all I want you to do is leave Twitch and come to Mixer for a million dollars, stream, would you do it? I would turn around and say yes. I honestly would. Mm. Because, yeah. one, the money is going to help benefit me in the long run. It means I can make content for you guys. And then I don't have to stress about money or anything like that. I am set for the rest of my life. Yeah. But that's the thing. Like All these people on YouTube are complaining, oh, but this, this, and this. Guys, why are you stressing about money? Is it? Are you really making content for money? Or are you making content because you enjoy doing what you're doing? Now, I'm saying this from my experience. I enjoy making my toy reviews doing vlogs and playing these games for you guys. I love it. It's probably one of the best things for me and makes me so happy because it's like people actually want to hang out. People enjoy what I do. I'm not... Like I can be a goof, a larrikin, a dumbwat, whatever you want me to be. I enjoy that. And because I get to interact with so many people, I, I'm really happy. But then there's people out there the people that have got like 30, 40,000 viewers are complaining that a service is not giving them enough already. It's like, well, what are you thinking? Are you thinking... I don't know. This To me, this just seems bizarre. It's like, why are you complaining about a service that you're giving people, not the other way around? I think it comes down to... One of the things I was thinking of was, once again, uh, this Susie Lou yeah. YouTuber back when i was watching her there was one video she made that was a bit of a red flag in a way (laughs) and it was where she said she made a video saying hey guys i am currently looking at job listings in the paper because i don't think i'm going to be able to sustain myself on youtube any longer I have told you guys countless times over and over again that YouTube is my job. It is exactly what I do uh, for a living. And because a lot of you guys are um, are using Adblock or whatever oh, while goodness. watching my videos, it means that I am no longer able to gain money. So all I'm asking from all of you is to please whenever you watch my videos please turn off your ad block so i am able to get money and still have youtube be my full-time career or as i'm doing right now i'm going to have to stress about finding a new job because i can't do this enough and then there was even a point on twitter where she was like people are still not turning off their ad block guess i'm looking for a job then and i was like uh, you are very uh, selfish i'm sorry but... yeah <laughs> I, if you concerned on ad revenue, then clearly your videos aren't getting you what you want because, oh, I don't know, as some people now have, you can actually get a membership to some YouTubers. Why don't people mm, get yep. that? Hell, if you're really worried about that sort of shit, go to, come here to Twitch. You get paid well, she when used people to... sub. That's a, but no, what, she... I'm just, what I'm getting at is people are complaining about that sort of thing and then there's like, there's no other source. There is other sources if you're really that desperate to think. Plus, as a lot of people should know, why, oh, why are you making this your job? Mm. You should always have a backup plan. Well, in this regard, she used to be on Twitch. That was where she started. She used to be a Twitch streamer. But then I don't really know why she just kind of stopped and decided to move to YouTube. And she said a lot of people who knew me on Twitch 
didn't really follow me to YouTube because they preferred watching me do things live and yada, yada, yada. And for a very long time, she would she would be very hostile when it came to anything, anything yeah. that was being said about her on YouTube. It would just be like, if anyone had any kind of criticism, they're a troll. If anyone is just like, well, maybe if you did this or did that, and she's like, I don't want to do that. Why should I have to do that? You're not in my position. You don't get to tell me what to do. Yeah, so as soon as someone would do that, it'd be like, cool, <laughs> bye. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, enough. We should probably keep going with this because I really don't want to get TSA'd by Twitch about it, but still. Mm. <laughs> to be honest, the only reason why I said no is with how my family is, I wouldn't see any of the money at all. I would not see a single cent. Yeah, but who's to say they have to have anything to do with it? It's yours to take yeah, with that, you that, to uh, mix I know, up. but the problem is, they always I always have someone turning around and saying, "Oh, hey, I I've earned this, this, and this from just by doing this." Along comes Saggy, my mother, or my uncles and aunties that don't believe I'd do this, and I'm quite literally already proving them wrong. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not going to say be... you shouldn't be doing this. Mm -hmm. They'll turn around and say, oh, hey, can I borrow some, borrow X amount of money so I can get set up? Because uh, if you don't give me X amount of money, I'll have you blah, blah, blah. You need to get out yeah, of the but... house. Yeah, if you, if you were given a million dollars or whatever, you could literally go essentially wherever you wanted away from the toxicity yeah. of your family environment. Yeah. Hence is, that's what I did when I moved out of uh, moved out from my mother. Yeah, no, I but, moved yeah, but no, no, away no. from the toxic. Sh shadow, shadow, shadow. But what we're trying to get to you is Mixer are coming to you with the million. They're not going to your parents. They're not going to anyone else. The money goes directly into your account. You, exactly. there is no way you could tell me right now a million dollars wouldn't go. You know what? I'm moving out of house. I'm getting my own apartment. I'm going to get my own service. That's what we're, that's what the whole point of the million dollars. You've set yourself up. You could turn around to your folks and say, cool, you want me to do that? Fine. Bye. Walk right out the door. Go down the road. Find the first cheapest apartment you want. Boom, boom, boom. You've set yourself up for the next four years. You don't, yeah, have, anyone exactly. to, you don't have anyone to tell you what to do. You can stream whenever you want to stream. You could sleep in as much as you want. You could eat whatever you wanted. You don't even have to put the garbage out. That is all on you. No one else will tell you to do that. Why am I talking about it like I know this? I've done this. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that that's that all it is is just that's what we're trying to say, Shadow. It was like if someone if a company, aka Mixer, turns around and went, Here's a million dollars, would you take it? That, that that's the thing. You you really there shouldn't be a no to that answer. It's straight away anyone would probably say yes. I could Bloody hell, I couldn't even piss that far, in all honesty. <laughs> it Actually, sounds like to me, Shadow, you're, it, it, it sounds to me that you're so entrenched, potentially, in the idea that everything in your life will always be uh, consumed or ruled by your family, and that's yeah. just not true. And it's like, like with me, with the family I have, on my dad's side, on my mum's side, they're a pack of religious I wouldn't have anything to do with them with a bar of soap. And I understand, obviously, your situation is very different, and I'm sympathetic to that. But it's good to know that eventually there will be certain options laid bare to you um, that will give you just a little bit more independence or a little more stability whether it be financially or mentally with your frame of mind um hell i mean just interacting with you guys has done wonders uh for my self-esteem a lot like the only reason i've been really uh, the last few days is mainly because it's been super cold and the cold affects me a lot more than it does a lot uh quite a few other people yeah um but which is fair enough like it happens you can't control that yeah but like talking with you guys now is an absolute delight like we can literally talk about any subject and 
I I feel so <laughs> incredibly stimulated and a lot. What are you giggling about over there, it's you dead tiger? What Sodnob just put in the chat? It's like you're just sitting there eating a bowl of popcorn. It's like. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> Someone just really enjoyed themselves. I'm like, yep. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Simulated. I'm just, I'm sorry. I didn't want to break it, but it's just like I just, I, I couldn't help but giggle. I'm like, God, Somnoms, you in that emote? I swear. <laughs> oh, I love it. That is brilliant. Uh, but yeah, it's just you guys are amazing. Yeah. But that's yeah, that's basically what I was leading up to. Was just saying that. You guys are some of the most amazing people I've ever met, and I just, every single day, whenever I see anything that you do, whether it's a stream or just being able to have a chat with you guys, it is, I feel just incredibly lucky being able to uh, know you guys in some way or another, and yeah, I just the fact that I can communicate with you guys and just have really interesting, fun conversations and then stimulating ones. I just, I love it. I think it's really cool. Hey, uh, Tarkin, yeah. are you able to get the, uh... What was that? You broke up. Uh, were you able to get the, um, rocks? Drop it on pink? No. I can if I can get a... Actually, I... Oh, no, I can't. I was going to get blue then, but he caught me. Don't do that. Yeah. Go away. I I'll drop rocks on your pink. Uh, yeah, I didn't realise it. I didn't realise it, so it's all good. I'll drop a thing anyway. Oh, wait, did I get one? Please tell me I brought one. <gasps> Thank God I did. Alright. Don't hit me, 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 don't hit me. Get them both, or one of them, I don't care, it's someone. Someone, please. <laughs> Otter has apparently gasmed to our conversation as well. Well, he does that. He's an otter. No, we have an otter with us, didn't we? Well, he's in my chat, yeah. He's just done the <laughs> begasm, so... Yeah. Can someone please go over the frickin' shock trap? I don't care who, one of you stupid dragons. Please, I need to drop things on your head. Anyone, please. There we go, about frickin' time. Dropping. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. That'll do. Pinky's dead. <laughs> Pinky's gonna be dead. Yeah, blue's down as well. Oh, he got blue as well? No, no, he's down. I think he just got, he must have got nicked or something. Um, we got blue as well, holy hell. Otto, say, awesome, Otto says, I'm always here. I'm a mod. It's my job. Cough, cough. Well, yeah, that's true. But you also have a thing called a job, Otter. I don't expect you to be here all 24-7. 20, mm, I think view. he just means when you stream. Yeah, so well, that's, that's what he means. <laughs> well, I know that. I'm just saying. Ooh. Anyone up for a dragon kebab? If it's ready. Oh, it is ready. Yeah, <laughs> do it now, 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 do it Someone please clip that. <laughs> please clip that entire thing. Just someone do it. Nah, 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 nah. Please, that has to be. Just oh clip God. it. It's like I've anyone. already got someone saying this is a bad. This is a bad. Uh, what, what was it? Sabbatical. No, 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 sabbatical. <laughs> um, what's the? No, was it? Uh, bad time to come. Bad time to come. When I was running away from something. I think it was Otto that clipped it, and I'm like, oh, for God's sake, really? <laughs> <laughs> Bad time like to come. Runner. Bad time to come. <laughs> yeah, Get but off. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm talking the C O U. Oh God, now I'm about to spell C O M E come, not the C U M come. And I'm like, oh, for God's sake! Don't come! Don't come! Get off! <laughs> Oh, uh, any of this would apply, and just out of context it worked. Yeah. Mm. <sighs> See what I have to deal with, people? <laughs> uh, hey, it's gonna be worse for me when I do the Ancrad arc. He almost sounds like what? a helicopter. What? Uh, really? When I do the Ancrad arc, there's gonna be a bunch of side stuff that actually earns the game an M rating. Okay. 
Technically, it is meant to be an M-rated game, but it's PG. Hmm, that makes sense. Yeah. I've been listening in since you started streaming, but I've been watching Endgame, so I didn't bother chatting. Ah. Oh yeah, how is Endgame? Good. Uh, Endgame's good. Ah. Uh -huh. I haven't seen it. Well, then Neither have I. I ended up going not uh, the MCU. Really? The DCU. Ow! Yeah, they throw, uh, they quite literally grab their comics, which is what they base the music, uh, the fi uh, films off, and throw it out the window. No, that's not true. The uh, MCU guys have actually said none of their movies, shows are actually based off comics. They've used comics as references, but nothing is off comics. A lot of hmm. it is also them doing their own spin on a lot of things. Hence why, yeah. the, hence why the ending of Endgame is really different to a co the comics. Um, it's okay, I guess. I watched Detective Pikachu first, but I reckon it was better. Ooh, that's a big statement. Yeah, it has Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, well, yeah, I can't argue that one. <laughs> so non I think I'm the only person who's not really a fan of Ryan Reynolds, actually. <laughs> And sometimes again puts the, the uh, emote in of eating popcorn. Oh my god! There should be a tea emote where you're just drinking tea and you're like, "Yes." Mm, this uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I, I think I might actually it. have one. Hang on. Do I still have his emotes? <gasps> no. I don't have his emotes anymore. No, that sucks. Um, there's a fur by the name of Mike Feedback. One of his emotes is, is a thing called a Zip, and it's him just having a drink of coffee or tea or whatever. And it's just Zip. Oh, I love it. Yeah, I think I've seen that one. I, I'm sure I've seen that somewhere. Yeah, someone's probably put it in my stream, or probably even in yours. Hmm. Who knows? I love uh, Ryan Reynolds. He can touch my black hole any day. Good to know, Otter. <laughs> is that because he voiced Pikachu, or do you just mean Ryan Reynolds... Boy. Himself. <laughs> if you're do you in... want Ryan Reynolds to touch your black hole, or do you want Ryan Reynolds' voice as Pikachu to touch your black hole? You, I you must know, know. Do you remember how you left my stream because you didn't want to see Destiny stuff, Elvish? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you should have stuck around probably for another ten to fifteen minutes. We got Why? into because we got into a lot of things about otters and their black holes. Huh. It well, the reason I also had to go was because I needed to go have dinner, so I wouldn't have been there anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Both at the same time. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Mm. Welcome back. And that was the last time I <laughs> someone. Hey, Darkin! <laughs> <laughs> I was being good. <laughs> Well, clearly no. You killed. You're killing shadows. What did you do? I'm so sorry. What did you do? You just. I come back and shadows is like about to kill over. What did you do? <laughs> Jesus. Statement. <laughs> I just finished down in a mouthful of my drink. <laughs> Jesus. God damn it. Don't make me get the spray bottle. Jesus. I've played 100% of every Pokemon game released. Oh, okay. And you've only. You yeah, don't play. That's dedication. You don't do Pokemon Go because you're in a small town. Yeah, know that feeling all too well. Oh, yeah. Pokemon I is your. Have it. Don't have it anymore. Yeah, Pokemon is your favourite game slash series. It turned me furry and kept me. Sane after I got kicked out of home. Jesus. Holy shit. Wow. Uh, Same could be said for Sword Art for me. You should have played <laughs> around when Detective Pikachu was in theatres because they had a Pikachu who appeared in a detective cap on it. Yeah, but the thing is there's a an event going on ISO for Pokemon Go now where they're bringing back all Pikachus with hats. So it'll probably be in there one of the weeks, that's for sure. 
yeah. Um, as far as Pokemon games go, I played majority of them up until I think I went as far as uh, bef I didn't get it, but I knew about it, which was Pokemon P Diamond and Pearl. I ended up that phase from them till black and white. I didn't play Pokemon games mainly because I didn't have a Game Boy at the time and I couldn't afford a DS. And then mm. on my second year being at my old, old job, which was Virgin Mobile, I got a DS, Pokemon Black and White as a birthday present from a co-worker, which I still don't understand why, but I got that. I played through that. I went and bought Black, and for Christmas time, her colleague bought me White too. So I ended up playing through those. I got X and Y, completed both of those. The only problem was I got one because I didn't have the other because I wasn't working and because I was also helping EB Games with promotion for that one. And then I got... I got Sun and Moon as rewards from working at Zing. So that was really cool. And then... Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, I was I got super cheap, and I finished those, and then obviously I played on stream uh, Let's Go Pikachu on here. So yeah, I'm looking... I've played up to Let's Go Pikachu. Yeah. Like, I've played um, Ho from Hoenn to Sinnoh to Johto, Kanto, through to Alola... Yeah, yeah. And, um... Oh, I can't remember the reason for why. Whatever it was, you played why, yeah. So, yeah, yeah you played most of them, yeah. Genova. Um, yeah, yeah, no, 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 that was black and white. Anyway. Uh, Diamond Pearl are, are the best. My father broke so many of my DSs. Oh, shit, sorry to hear, Calibre. Emerald was my favourite. Oh, okay, mine was... Uh, yellow and gold. I wouldn't say I have a favourite. Um, because Pokemon as a whole is just my favourite. Hell, I've been to Japan four times. You know how many times I've come back with like three or four bags full of Pokemon gear? Hell, I can even tell you how much I spent at each of them. <laughs> I like Pokemon. I don't even need the stress. But yeah, as soon as so Sword and Shield come out, Oh boy, I'll be playing that. It's going to be Sword and Shield. What the frick? What's up? Who put this song in? What Here. song? <laughs> Team Rocket's motto song. Oh god. Oh To denounce the evils of truth and love. To ascend our reach to the stars above. Jesse. James. Team Rocket blasting off at the speed of light. Surrender now, or prepare to fight. Yeah, that's right. Oh my... Oh god. <laughs> I used to have that as a ringtone, and I went to Eurofront with it. Oh my god. Now you see why I stick to my sword art. Um, At least then people don't have an idea. So. Deep down, it's all the same shit. Yeah, pretty much, Hero. Um, so you're getting sword, are you, Hero? Okay, interesting, interesting. I'm gonna name the legendary Civ. Okay, okay, okay. What's with the gun, Son Nobs? What's with the gun? No need for violence. Gun of love. The uh, sword, uh, legendary, the master sword, and the shield, the Hylian shield. Hmm. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm getting both sword and shield because, yeah, I always do. Oh, there's, and a suggestion, uh, there's a suggestion for the names. Yeah. I'm getting both, but I'm only going to stream one and not the other. Unless everyone wants me to do it twice, which would be a bit crazy. Uh, just stream. Getting the uh, legendary on. Um, oh yeah, I'll probably do that. Yeah, I'll probably do that. Just to show the difference. Nah, Dark Souls Doggo is the best name. Dark Souls Doggo? You mean? 
There's a dog, there's a <clears throat> giant wolf in the first Dark Souls called Great Grey Wolf Sif. Oh, okay. And she's really cool. She's a fantastic character. And when you get it down to a low bit of health, she pitifully starts limping around the battlefield and you have to kill her. So like what we do with the monsters, they get really low and then they'll start limping away. Basically, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, and don't be surprised if I leave the call at a particular point because my lights are flickering a lot right now. Uh-oh. Are you getting a storm, are you? Just heavy winds, oh, like a geez. mother... I wouldn't mind... I wouldn't mind it if I could still get my full legendary team. Well, if you have Pokemon Bank, supposedly you can transfer them. Supposedly. I don't know how that'll work with Sword and Shield, though. Did you just say Pokemon Bang? Pokemon Bank. Bank! Ah. I was going to say, where uh, does that me, come from? It sounded like you said Pokemon Bang. No, I bank. swear. No, right. not for the not for the new game. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, because yeah, I Pokemon guess... Pokemon Bank doesn't work with the Switch. Yeah, well, that's fair enough. It makes sense since the game's supposedly going to be a bit different. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, that's true. Um, and in Pokemon fan, if you say Pokemon Bank near them, they end, nine times out of ten, they end up cracking up laughing because the Pokemon Bank is a pitiful excuse by Nintendo. Um, Shadow, be very careful with your next few words or I will kick you out. <laughs> just so, so just, 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 of microtransactions. just, 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 just so you understand, I have it and I've used it. So don't say that because there's a bunch of people that use it. I'm happy to pay. Dude, you had to pay the same amount to bloody get on Nintendo Online. So what's $5? It's not going to kill you. That's my attitude to it. So it's like, yeah. Plus for me, it was good because I could bring my freaking Arcanine across. <gasps> my Arcanine was so good. It's the only Arcanine that has Dragon Rage or Dragon Breath. Oh my god. You know, I was so in the dark about Pokemon and what it actually was that I watched like a few episodes of the anime way back when and I learned because I watched the anime and I was like, okay, this is kind of fun in a way. Um, and then I kind of... I, Oh, it was something to do with just looking up certain things on YouTube, and it was only about, like, four, five years ago, around about, and they said, the Pokemon show inspired by the video game. I was like, there's a game? <laughs> and I was, yeah, I was about, like, literally 18 or 19 when I learned that there was, in fact, a video game of Pokemon. I was that out of the loop of it. That's all right. When I got into it was when, uh, if anyone remembers, Cheese TV in Australia. Uh, what? Cheese TV. Anyone remember that? Oh, uh, it's an old um, early morning cartoon show. Yeah. I had Toasted TV when I was oh. much younger. That's what was on cheese for me. Cheese TV, yeah. I had Toasted and Cheese. Yeah. Huh. Well, yeah, Cheese TV. Yeah. Then, then Toasted TV, yeah. So basically, when right. they were, yeah, they used to be called Cheese TV, then they went over to Toasted TV. That's the. Hmm. They were. So basically, when they were sort of, when they were around, they used to have Pokemon, Dragon Ball, uh, Card Captors, Yu-Gi-Oh! I think. Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah, they did Yu-Gi-Oh! Sakura. I know they had um, Naruto at one point. One they, Piece. Uh, yeah. no, they they did that in the later on one when I start when I was watching what I was in like primary school and high school, they didn't have it. It was more Yu Gi Oh, Pokemon, Digimon, um, Card Captors. That's what I was thinking of. Digimon. Yeah, Digimon. What channel was that? It was an old, old, old uh, early morning TV show. I think it was on Channel Nine or Channel Ten. 10? Channel Ten, yeah. It was on Ten. Whoa, that's yep, different. It was too. Yeah, um, Pokemon. There we go. 
There you go. Pokemon, Dragon Ball Z, Yu-Gi-Oh, then Wrinkle... Then Wrinkles was the line... Wrinkle? What? Oh, I think he means Winx. I think he means oh, Winx. Winx Club. Winx. I've heard about that. Then oh, Winx yes. was the line right up to Toaster TV. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, well, when I was watching, it used to be called... It was Cheese TV, so that's the thing. Plus, I think it was <laughs> only after... 9-11 is when I kind of stopped watching early morning TV because I woke up one morning and yay, Cheese TV's on. Um, Mom, wh Mom, what's this thing on the TV? It's on like all the channels. And Mom's like, uh, yeah, a plane had hit this. I'm like, wait, this is real? It. I didn't, again, I was a kid in the, just early, I think it was primary school or high school, was it? No, it was high school. And I'm like, what the frick? Yeah, yeah, I that's remember when I... exactly where I was at that yeah. point too. Yeah. The Ringwood Club, hospital. yeah. yeah. <laughs> really? Oh shit. Yeah. Uh so